Hi, I'm Christian Shu outside of the Griffith Building on Stevens Institute of Technology campus. It's the Innovation Expo today, and we're going to be looking more closely at some senior design team's projects. Come join us, won't you? Hey, so uh, I'm Dennis. The rest of my team and I, we worked on making a secure client for the AdMax air traffic control software. So this software is used on aircraft carriers by the Navy. So we used a uh, minnow board right here. It's like a Raspberry Pi, but more powerful. So we put a customized version of Debian on it, which was stripped down and made secure, so that way the Navy can uh, better control what planes are landing and taking off. That's a good question. So essentially, ghost cities is a term that's often thrown around by the media. Uh, what it really means is abandoned cities, but what it actually is, uh, is a misnomer. So China's not, they're urbanizing at a crazy high rate, and they plan to have 60% of their society urbanized by 2020. Uh, they're building cities, but there are not many people in them. So the issue is that people think they're abandoning these cities, when in actuality, they basically have big hermit crab shells that will be filling in with people very soon. So my game is an abstract and simplified view like that in the vein of Settlers of Catan, Ticket to Ride, and even Checkers. So I sort of simplify the concept of Chinese urbanization into a way that people 10 and up can understand. Sure, so Traumagraph is an application for trauma patients, uh, or trauma patients or anxiety in patients. Um, the goal is basically to help them deal, manage their symptoms of panic attacks uh, while they're happening. So we walk them through exercises that will help them re-engage parts of the brain that are turned off while they're having an attack. Gentlemen, um, your marketing strategy, would you uh, be willing to elaborate on that? Sure. So as far as our marketing goes, we're uh, focused on marketing towards 21 plus individuals because obviously this is a hangover drink and uh, hangovers are something experienced by people that uh, consume alcohol and we understand the legal drinking age for alcohol is 21. Um, but we also want to target a group of people who don't really have time for hangovers. They're actively involved in any organization that they may be a part of, maybe have a job, and they just don't have the time for a hangover, but they still want to be able to go out and enjoy themselves. So we've crafted a product that is a preventative measure so that they don't have to fight an uphill battle the next day against their hangover. Whereas instead, they're able to take this the night before and then wake up without a hangover at all. Interesting. Uh, so. Uh, it was originally based off of a, uh, a drink to restore minerals uh, to, to sick patients. Um, and it's, it's gotten a bit of outrage from the, the Greek community. Has that helped your, your view count on the, your Facebook page or the publicity in any way? Yeah, to be honest, every, uh, every bit of publicity uh, has been helping us every step of the way. And I mean, that's kind of marketing 101 is any publicity is good publicity. And on our board back here, we have the analytics to back that up. We've showed that in the past week where we've gotten all of this press, our, uh, our reach as well as engagement have respectively jumped uh, about 6,800% and about 3,000% uh, 3, and change. Um, so every time we speak now, these numbers back here actually say uh, we reach 4,500 people every time we post. That, those numbers as of right now have probably at least doubled since we last drew up our poster. So we're, every time we say something, we are reaching an astounding number of people. And not only that, but we're engaging them. So about one third of the people that we post and reach, we engage. So they're clicking on our post, they're liking our post, they're liking our page all that so we have a very active base and we are uh, we're very happy uh, as far as all the publicity we've gotten because it's it's just everything we've been taught as Stephen students to exploit. So my name is Joseph Rastin and I'm with the Mount Beacon um, Access Road project here at Stevens Institute of Technology for the Senior Design Expo. Um, our project is to design, redesign an access road across the mountain in uh, Mount Beacon in Beacon, New York for the purpose of fire access. What is currently available is a very dilapidated road that doesn't really see much use right now. Uh, you can have a four-wheel truck go up it, but beyond that, you can only get to about right here on the, current, on the current setup. What we are proposing is to redesign the entire road with asphalt and pipes and a drainage ditch to prevent flooding and to provide access using a fire truck going from the normal roads to the eventual upper station of the Incline Railway, which is being proposed by the Mount Beacon Incline Railway Restoration Society. Um, 
Using products such as uh, AutoCAD and AutoCAD Civil 3D, we've managed to redesign this alignment so that a fire truck can turn and be safe. Um, using a vertical alignment, we made sure that the slope went from, it used to be 25% and now it's around 15 and a half at most. In some cases it's as low as uh, like two. Um, we also have this great plan with this retaining wall. Any excavated earth is going to be used um, into this retaining wall that will help save on project costs and disposal costs. Uh, we shouldn't have to have any unnecessary disposal during this project, which is pretty cool. We also did a TR-55 analysis on the whole site um, hydro for the hydrology. We have a 18-inch pipe diameter with 18-inch cover at a 2.5% slope, which is indicated on our diagram. Um, been a pretty solid project. We're still working on a couple elements of it, but other than that, it's pretty solid. Um, Frank DiLorenzo, our project sponsor, will be taking these plans and presenting them to the Mount Beacon Incline Railway Society, where he will um, hopefully take the project to, to its completion. Other than that, that's, I guess that's a wrap. How do I do this? Do I just stop? Okay, there you go. Read the suit!